Hey everybody, you know I really love this time of year. Hanging out by the chemistry. Warming myself by the fire. And don't you let me catch you standing under that methyl toe. And so here's your present for the holidays. I'm gonna do a magic trick for you. Yeah, I know magic is fake and not real, but it's a really good one. It's called the three cup trick. So let's go in the lecture room and do the trick right now. Right now. Hey folks, thanks for watching Science Magic with Mike. Uh, it's time for the three cup trick. Now watch close, cause I'm shifty. All right, now watch closely. I'm going to take some water and pour it into one of these three cups. Which one do you want me to pour it into? Oh, you say the one on the left. Okay, that sounds fair. So here goes. These are just regular old white cups. As you can see, nothing is in there. I want you to keep your eye on which one has the water. Because I'm gonna, this is where the magic begins. First, I gotta say a magic word. The Avogadro. So, we're gonna go and switch some of these around. Oh, geez. Uh, and then switch this around there. And then switch that like that. And then uh, the switching is really important to this. And then do you keep in your eye on which one has the water? Okay, is it this one? Of course not. Is it this one? Must be this one. What? So what happened to the water? Was it magic? No, there is no magic. Magic's not real. Turns out what you saw was thanks to a magnificent chemical invention called sodium polyacrylate. All right, let's, let's try that again, except with a little bit more truth. Here's my magic trick. I've got about a gram of sodi sodium polyacrylate. It's a polymer which can absorb water. Keeping track, eh, it's about 50 grams of water. So, so far it's absorbed about 50 times its weight. There's a little bit over 100 milliliters or 100 grams of water. Let's keep going. Take a look at that. 200 times its weight. Starting to become kind of liquidy, but we give it a little bit of a little bit of time. So let's talk about the structure of sodium polyacrylate and what makes it absorb so much water. So how does this stuff absorb so much water? Well, it's thanks to its structure and the polar nature of water. Oh, 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 which bonds are polar. That's right, Santa Claus. Oxygen, hydrogen bonds in water are slightly charged, which cause water molecules to stick to each other and water molecules to interact with things that have charged particles, like the charges in sodium polyacrylate. All right, so here's what a molecule of water looks like, and the bonds in water are not fairly shared. That is that there's more of a gathering of the negative electron cloud over towards the oxygens, making them slightly negative. That's that little delta. And the hydrogen's slightly positive. We call those poles. So water molecules have charges, not a great enough full-blown charge like a sodium in, a, in salt to really conduct electricity well, but little tiny charges. And 
Here's what sodium polyacrylate looks like. It's a polymer with repeating units of these carboxylate groups with negative and positive charges. So the charges on water can interact with those, kind of push a sodium out of the way, and you can surround a whole bunch of those carboxylate groups with water because uh, they sort of outnumber them, and the polymer swells and absorbs tremendous amounts of water. So that's the chemistry behind it. Now, what happens when I go take my gel and put salt in it? All right, back to our sodium polyacrylate, which by the way, now that I've let it sit for a while, I can turn this thing, despite it being mostly water, I can turn that thing straight upside, <laughs> upside down for a while. Now let's talk about what happens, and by the way, you know, you can probably don't want to touch it too much. Uh, anyhow, let's, hap let's see what happens. This is pretty gelatinous. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to introduce more sodium ions with just some old table salt. And then after a while, this thing goes back to a flowing liquid. And that's because now what we're doing is reversing the process. And I'm introducing the sodiums. They can reintroduce themselves to the carboxylate groups. And those negative charges that were sort of uh, there because the sodiums were occupied by the water made the, made the gel swell from repulsion. But now we've sort of undone that whole process by introducing sodium. Interesting. This is what we call in science a diaper. Most commercial diapers use sodium polyacrylate. And that reminds me of something. I gotta go to the bathroom. There. Why don't you sign off for us, Stanek Claus? Thanks for watching Science with Mike. Oh boy. Well, oh, whoa, Nelly. I better get my snowshoes.